Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. His and her show. I have no idea where uh, Sweet Tea is. Okay, there she's back. All right. So, um, his and her show. How you doing, Sweet Tea? Hey, everybody. How are you? Uh, I'm blessed, manifest. Okay. Okay. Um, tonight, we have a uh, interesting few topics to talk about. We were talking about this behind the scenes. And you were, uh, you was turned up. You was lit. You you have very strong feelings about about this. We're gonna talk about Dave Chappelle and the controversy between the uh, transgender community, I guess the the LGBTQ community, and uh, comedian Dave Chappelle. Have you first? Have you seen the stand up? The closer. I haven't seen it because I'm kind of tired of him having stand up. You said you're, you're tired of she. She said that she's tired, tired of Dave Chappelle having stand up. I don't even understand what it is. Dave Chappelle is a comedian. He is one of the top comedians in in the world. Craig. Um, that's what he does. He tells jokes. So I I guess when I watch a stand-up comedian, I do not necessarily take those things to heart. Uh, I suppose if I was watching a white comedian talking about black people in a negative way, I would have a problem with that, right? Uh, But I don't know if that is the same thing. Um, how is it not? Um, how is it not the same thing? Right. So, okay, race and gender are different, right? Can we agree on that? Can we agree that race and gender are different? Yes? No, because women are discriminated in the workplace Ooh. all the time. Yeah, so here's what I'm Dude. saying. When we have a, what's it, some more. When some more talks about you know, the guys. Ah, oh, guys ain't shit. Guys this, guys that. It's that fact. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Fact. That's fine. But I'm not feeling like, oh, my God, let's boycott some more. She always dogging out the brothers. Like, I don't think like that. I'm like, she's a comedian. So that's why I said are, that there's a difference. Are you using that really as an example? What, that's not a good example? What's a good example? Fuck no, it's not. <laughs> Educate me. Give me a it's give not. me a better, give me a better it's example. Not. I can't because that example right there sucked. Okay. That what's, sucked, what's, Diamond. What's you sucked, really what? gonna use some more talking about men when it comes to gender discrimination and no, yes, gender I'm discrimination? Strictly, I'm strictly coming this from the standpoint of Dave Chappelle is a comedian, he tells jokes. He tells satire jokes. Yes, you are absolutely correct. He tells jokes. But when you're constantly telling the same joke about the same people, it gets a little bit ridiculous. It's further than a joke now. It's insecurity in yourself as a man why you keep on wanting to talk about not gays, but lesbians. You have. But every time I watch a the last two comic comedy shows about Dave, Dave Chappelle, he talked and addressed only transgenders. Transgenders. So I'm kind of taking it like, okay, the first time, <laughs> but you constantly saying it. So I'm thinking that you're kind of insecure about your manhood because maybe you're curious about the transgender population and you don't know how to execute those feelings because you're in the public eye and you don't want to get caught like your homeboy Eddie Murphy like you need to talk to Eddie if you got these feelings because y'all running the same circle y'all running the same circle alright uh, you said a lot there uh, here's the thing okay it's, it, not that, it's not that he talks about the same things because it, it it's like 
it's it's different. And you really had to see the stand up, but it's not that he wasn't saying anything negative. His last stand up before that, he yeah, talked about transgender. Right, and that's what caused the controversy. So this this the closer is a reaction to the quote unquote backlash that he got from sticks and stones. So if he didn't get the backlash, this wouldn't have been a subject at all. But this was a subject because of the misinterpretation of the sticks and stones. So so in the closer, he talks about a transgender uh, uh, girl that he knew that he knows who he met, a comedian. And, um, you know, so he talks about that a friendship that they had and, and that she killed herself because, the tra- you know, I guess he does. You, I guess you don't really know why. But she was defending him on Twitter, and then the, the LGBTQ community started dragging on Twitter. And next thing you know, she kills herself, right? Um, so I, it's not that he that he doesn't like uh, transgender folks or anything like that. It's I think that there was a very powerful statement that he made, and he said that uh, in the closer that it was easier for Caitlyn Jenner to change her uh, gender. It was easier for that to happen than it was for Cassius Clay to change his name to Muhammad Ali. And uh, he talked about that, uh, which that is a fact. Uh, He talked about the fact that that Caitlyn Jenner won Woman of the Year the first year as a woman. Okay, so these are some of the jokes. But I don't think think that that's like a, a... a, a so you trying to tell me when you see when he's sitting down smoking his weed and he's writing his skits, it's like, oh, let's talk about the transgenders and the gays again. Like he ain't got nothing else to talk about. Well, at the at the source of it, and I, why is he talking about Cassius Clay? Why does he even care about Cassius Clay? He's not married to a black woman. He's married to a Filipino woman. What does that have to do with it? What, what do you it mean? has a lot to do. So why, why, why are you worried about Cassius Clay changing his name to, as black man life? when you're not even carrying the whole role as a black man? You married to you're not even married to the black race. So shut, shut up. <laughs> why should we take you seriously? Are you saying you did a whole skit? Is in, is in his whole skit was about black lives and being a black man, but you laid up with a Filipino woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that, that's a fact. Um, that's a fact. Just that's like in. Farrakhan married to a Mexican lady. I'm supposed to take you seriously, like that whole um comedy thing or it wasn't comedy that whole sit down with him trying to be all serious about black lives and all that come on man i can't take you seriously you eat fucking noodles oh wow uh just tuning in his or her show uh on the all new radio fire.com we're talking about the dave Chappelle and uh, uh the netflix lgbtq controversy so some folks that work at Netflix try to t- try to rush a meeting. They got suspended and um, different things. They wanted the special taken down. Netflix uh, obviously paid a lot of money to Dave Chappelle. They are not taking the special down, nor should they. Uh, I think that we should be able to have these uh, uncomfortable conversations, just like when someone speaks about racism. And, and does it in a in a creative stand up? I think that sometimes we need to have some conversation. But he's not being tasteful with it, Diamond. He's not talking about transgenders in a tasteful way. They have enough that they fight on a daily basis with emotions, physical and mentally, that they go through every day thinking that they're in the wrong body. Or why why were they born this way? He's not doing anything to educate the people on what he's saying. He's making fun of them. He's being a fucking bully. Is that how you is that how you take that? You take this as he's he's being a bully? Yes. 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 Yeah, so yeah. you have you you have some you have some um some friends in that I have, community. Yes, yeah. I have yes, I am friends with the girls 
and the girls told me that number one, David Chappelle looks like one of them suspect, them boys that would come to them for services or hit, hit on them and that he's fucking insecure. But he does have a right to do what he wanna do because we do live in a country where freedom of speech or whatever, but they like, if you don't care so much about a certain certain uh certain things or people, then why you keep on calling for us? Why you keep talking about us? We're not talking about you. The only time we talk about Dave Chappelle is when he keep on putting our names in his mouth. Well, you know, uh, you can look up in the ceiling all you want. To, you know, they, I get they try to get a special cancel that you know so. You know, it was a valid point. He was talking about the baby and what the baby said. And he brought up another valid point, which was the baby shot and killed somebody in Walmart. Nothing happened to the baby. Didn't It didn't hurt the baby's rap career. But he said some things that, that hurt some feelings of some LGBTQ folks. And then now his whole career uh, just... Just had a, a complete, you know, red the baby light. is a gangster rapper. Okay, he do gangster shit. Okay, what does that what does that community have to do with them not running the proper case? They need to talk to the prosecutors, the DAs, and whatever baby shot somebody at the Walmart. They need to talk to them people. He always trying to make a point, but make a point that you a black man married to a Filipino woman. What the, I think that, I think that's well known. I think that's well known. And you know, you can marry obviously who you want and, and you love who Yeah, you, you can want. marry obviously who you want, but don't be talking about black this and black that. I'm brickly black, 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 black of the black, 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 black. <laughs> black. Oh man. Um so so you, you think that transgender folks are off limits you can't speak about them you can't tell jokes about them they can't be depicted in a movie like it's just a hands-off thing it's not a hands-off thing but what they're saying is why you keep on talking about us like you just constantly keep talking about us mm. it ain't nothing else for you to talk about well, I, I'm sure there's plenty for him to talk about. Um, okay, so why do you keep on talking about the transgenders? And then you claim that you made friends with, he made friends with a transgender and then she killed right, herself? Right. Okay, so if you make friends with somebody, why are you constantly making fun of them? I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I think... Stay off their dick, Chappelle. Stop riding their dick, literally. Get off of the girl's dick. Uh, so he released a, a clip where he's talking. He put this on Instagram yesterday. Let's see if I can play a little bit of this. Um, what? It's in the press that I was invited to speak to transgender employees at Netflix, and I refused. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it. Although I am confused about what we are speaking about. Exactly. I said. Exactly. I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I am the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Those are all Republican white people. I want everyone in this audience to know that even though the media frames this, that it's me versus that community, it's not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. Are you done yet? All right, hold on a second. All right, so he said it's about corporate interests and and censorship. About some things are just off limits that you can't talk about. You don't think that that's a real thing? 
You don't think that there's certain things, certain unspoken things that you're not supposed to say, and if you cross certain lines, then they try to, uh, quote-unquote, cancel you? He's not a real thing? Is he making this up? All right, let's... Like my close, good transgender girlfriend told me today, they have no problem with him making jokey jokes. Okay, cool, or whatever. But they don't understand why the fuck, if you don't like transgenders and you don't care anything about us, why the fuck you keep on riding our dicks then? Well, he wow. said, he, he said you that that's not it. To talk about? He said he said that that's not it. Let me play a little bit more of this. Then what is it? What is it? And I need you to know this. Everyone, I know. One of my girls must have turned his ass down or turned his ass out, and he don't know how to adjust to it. He don't know how to what? Say that again. One of the girls must have turned his ass out, and he don't know how to adjust with the feelings that he has. Oh, you are tripping. <laughs> not tripping. So I don't know what all this nonsense is. If you don't like something, you're not going to keep on constantly talking about it. Well, I mean, I think it would have been over, but they tried to cancel him. They tried to get his, his special pulled. He has a documentary that he's putting out, and some of the distribution has been pulled. Like, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a very powerful community. And he spoke about that he was jealous of the way that the transgender movement is is as far as the success of it. And he says that he wishes that, you know, the black community had that type of success with the movement. I, I think it's more I think it's more envy than it is hatred. Yeah. Stop saying David Chappelle in black after his name, please. <laughs> He's a black man. Okay, so if he divorced, if he divorced the lady he married to now, and, and yeah, just like a, he had that skit on his show, take the take the um, when he was taking the people from the black cards away, he yeah. needs his taken away because he's not even married to a black woman. Take his card away. Yeah, that you, yeah, you hardcore. So he's getting back, or maybe that. because. He's trying to make up for something that a black woman think would be lacking. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think it's anything like that. I don't, I don't think it's anything like that. Uh, I think, of course, that, of course, you wouldn't. Do you, yeah, do you I, of course, you wouldn't. I think that a comedian has what we call license. You have creative license. You can talk about what you want to talk about. You know, I could talk like about. Like I said, Donna, you're not registering. They said they. they five, my five, my five, girlfriend five, said five. that she don't care what David Chappelle is saying, but she just don't understand why he keeps making jokes about them. It seems like he's insecure in his manhood that he has some feelings about a transgender. Hold up, maybe he was dealing with that transgender on Twitter. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, you keep talking about them, you say you don't care for them, you don't like them or whatever. Why you don't like them? What can one of them do to you? You keep putting them in your he like, didn't say it's he not like funny. Him. He didn't say he didn't like them, but... Yes, he um, did. He didn't in say his he last didn't. thing, he said that he don't like transgender. I, yeah, I don't I don't know about that. I, I have to listen to that again. I mean... Uh, Not the I, one he just did. The one comic thing, the one comedy Stones. show he had before this one. That's yeah. Sticks and Stones is the one, but I think that maybe and he com- made a whole. He talked about it for like 20, 30 minutes about transgender. I'm like, what the fuck they got going on down there? He keep on talking about these guys. Yeah, maybe, maybe if if a member, you know, he meets with some some members of that community. And you know they meet with him, and maybe and let me tell you how him. uncomfortable he is. You're yeah. so uncomfortable that if they have a meeting with these transgenders, it's certain questions that can, that you're not going to answer, or certain questions that you don't want to ask. Why? Why? You sit on stage and talk about us? Mm. Yeah. Um, well, you 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 don't want to be censored. You don't want to be censored while you're on stage. So why, when we had this this meeting, all of a sudden, it's censorship? Why? 
Yeah, well, that that's that's not right. Uh, but I, I think that I think he's probably coming at it from the standpoint of when folks have gotten into uh, a, a run a foul, quote unquote, to that community, they have always, you know, bowed down, apologized, uh, capitulated, took a step back, retracted what they said, something like that. And I think he's trying to save face and say, I'm not going to do that. It's got to be where I say the meet is going to be. It's going to be on my terms. And Probably I, I, think, I think that's what he's saying. I think that's where he's coming from. Because I know the girls are going to ask him, what's the problem? Do you have some deep feelings that you don't know how to... <laughs> I don't think you he don't had know no how problem. to adjust in your life that maybe them. you feel. That's a normal question. They they should be able yeah, to ask. But he don't want. I bet he gonna write that down. Do not ask me if I have insecurities about transgender because I want to fuck one. Yeah, you gonna have that? No, no, nah. I, I think that he's. A, I think that he's secure in who he is. I think that these are. I'm sure are, Eddie Murphy was too. <laughs> what does Eddie Murphy got to do with this? Because they run in the same circle. That's a Hollywood Eddie Murphy was cool with a transgender. A, 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 am I lying? No. Nah, Eddie's was. wife looks like a trans. His ex-wife, she could pass for a transgender. Which one? Nicole. Oh, no. Nicole. <laughs> okay. Oh. And this is what I have to say. And she... Do you make them find these disclosures when you get a divorce and all that other stuff? Because you don't want people to know that why Johnny Gill was living in the back of your house and why you was caught with a transgender in your car. Yeah, well, I don't know the answers to those questions, but uh, obviously, they like obviously, you know, uh, NDA is because there's some information that, that you don't want brought out. So you have them sign a, the non-disclosure. Uh, that, that's why you have those those kind of gag orders. Uh, so, yeah, there, there may be some. Eddie, and Eddie Murphy is is, is Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, uh, you know, rolling in Hollywood. Okay. Uh, but that is not this. And, and Eddie Murphy has some controversies where he was talking about, uh, you know, about gay folks and some of his, and some of his stand stand-ups. But I mean, right. but, and, and guess what? He got caught in a car with a transgender. Yeah, uh, that, that happened. That happened. That happened. Uh, just to the end, his or her show. Of course, I am the him. And, uh, and I am the her, and I'm always right because I am female. You know, I just, I, I would love, we need to get, we need to get a member of this community on the show one day and, uh, you know, and, and, and get, get some of that perspective. I know that you have, you know, talked to some members of, um, of the LGBTQ, uh, uh, you know, community and, and you definitely have some of their thoughts and talking points, but I don't, and, and when Dave Spell was talking about the talking points or the different things that people say uh, that are in that community, what they say about him, uh, and he says that those things are not true. Uh, so, but, you know, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, that community faces discrimination. I understand that they, they face a lot of real, uh, uh, you know, homophobia, transphobia, but Every time that someone voices an opinion is not a homophobic moment. Like you can you can have moments. There are moments when there are legitimate attacks on that community. But just the, the, the same reason why we were mad, we are mad at, at uh Jesse Smollett, right? For faking uh, uh a, a racial attack. We're mad because there are people that actually get really attacked. And for him faking it is just is maddening, right? And so there are times when somebody He's just agrees with something that 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 a, a transgender folk uh, will do, but that's not saying that they are transphobic, like a, a transgender person will do. Like just because I disagree, like I, I can't call you out. You've called me out on stuff, right? But that doesn't mean that you hate me. That just means that you're saying, like, you look, what's up with this? You know what I mean? Why can't uh a, why can't a, a heterosexual person say to a transgender person, 
yo, that's fucked up. Some shit you did. Why can't they say that without it being a whole? Thing? Wrong. No, they cannot. No, that's wrong. no, they can't. Because what the baby was saying, he was like AIDS and all that shit. No, no, that no, shit no, that no, he no, said was unprofessional. Talk, when you're talk talking about that. David Chappelle, you keep on mentioning us. That's like me. And people that don't, if I don't, if I know that people don't like me and I don't care about the people that don't like me, I'm not going to keep on constantly talking about these people because I don't give a fuck about that. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, so that's, I guess that's the challenge. Uh, and uh, so he's, he's doing a stand up. I guess he's doing another stand up. So he did, he did a stand up in Nashville. He's great to go on the road and, uh, he is being uh, dropped from some film festivals because he, he's trying to get this movie made. So when you're trying to get a movie made, one of the roles that you take is to take it to film festivals and get people to or get movie houses to see it at the film festival and then buy it at the film festival. So he has a movie that he's trying to put out, but the film festivals they they don't want to touch it. They don't even want it screened at their film festival because they don't want this controversy and this backlash to touch their events. Uh, and so, you know, I think that Dave Chappelle and, uh, I mean, I don't know who would be the representative of the uh, LGBTQ, <laughs> you know, I don't know who, who like, who's the person, like, you know, it's not like it's one You don't know who the president yeah, I don't know who. The, yeah, who's the president? Is it is is Caitlyn Jenner the president? I know, like who's the president? No, definitely who, not Kate. Who does Dave Chappelle sit down with? You know what I mean? Who's the who? Where's y'all? Joe Maybe T. Like, Madison or somebody. Who's y'all representative? Right? Maybe he needs to sit down with T. Madison. <laughs> That would, now that I would pay to see. That would be entertaining. <laughs> that would be entertaining. Um. But yeah, so so we got to figure this out because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is entertainment. And if if there are certain, all right, how can I say this? All right, if you want to be, and this is why I really want to have a transgender person on here because I want to ask them some of these things. So if you if you want to say it is however they feel whatever uh uh, uh emotions that they have and, and i'm sure that these are you know difficult things to go through right but at the end of the day everybody wants to just be able to be themselves and live their life and be you know no as normal as you can be right that means nobody's above criticism that means if you do something wrong if you want to be normal and regular that means that people can call you out if you are wrong Right. And in order for this evolution to happen, meaning that people can be whoever they are and everybody is 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 fine. That means until heterosexual people can call out a transgender or a gay person without it becoming a whole big uh, homophobic, transphobic thing is not going to be uh-huh. it's not fair. Right? Because I, have, that, I have one question. What? You ready? Sure. Tell me what has the transgenders done wrong? No, I mean, everybody does something wrong. I mean, everybody does but something where, wrong. Where is it in the news or anything that they like, they doing something wrong? Well, I mean, I'm sure, let's see, because every time that someone commits a crime, their, their uh, identity is not revealed. So there's plenty of times where they do stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's plenty of times. So, so, so now you're gonna try so now you're gonna try to say transgender people don't commit crime? They do. But what I'm saying is, is gay people they, don't commit crimes. But what I'm saying jail. is you what I'm saying is you made this big speech, right? Yeah. You made this big speech. And I had a really but they have not even done anything wrong. They have not done anything in the public eye or made any big rah in the public eye of doing anything wrong. The reason why they act like victims because you people, I'm not even going to say you, people are constantly victimizing them. And yes. they're not doing anything. Yes. No, they're just true. living their best life. Yes, but everybody, every time, see, because it happens so often, <laughs> Because they're demonized. 
and I legit will admit they are demonized a lot. But because they're demonized, they think that every time you open your mouth, unless you add gay pride, then you that's then you're not true. Food. No, and that's not that's true. not true. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. These people, these people in society like Dave Chappelle are always coming for them. And they just want to know why you keep coming for us when we ain't coming for you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's like, that's one of the talking points. That's that's some shit that they say too. There's something about sending or something. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Like I didn't send for you syrup. I mean honey or whatever. Some I don't know some shit. Uh, yes, I didn't send for you. <laughs> all right, I, you come and I sent for you. Keep right, coming right. unannounced and shit at our doorstep. <laughs> do do this. You need you need to uh uh. Well, wait, we, I mean, I, we need to find one. I and I think I know somebody, but he gonna be too off the hook. He gonna be too off the hook. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna think about. It. We need to bring somebody on and uh, and have some of these conversations, and then uh, I I because I need to understand why. Like I got white homeboys. Look, I got white homeboys, and if they do some 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 fucked up stuff, I can say, "Yo, my man, this 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 and this," and he like, "Oh, yo, you know what I mean?" It's just it don't turn to nothing other than somebody just making a point. Now, if if you recognize something, so if they talk about the fact, okay, so like with some Jewish people, I know some Jewish people, and if you say certain stuff, it's going to be automatically turned to an anti-Semitic thing. And don't be anti-Semitic. I just, you know, I didn't like what happened to Israel. Oh, he's anti-Semitic. What, what do you mean? I just said I didn't like something. But you can say you don't like something in Africa. You can say you don't like something in England. You can say the Canadians did some fucked up shit. And there's no, there's no problem. But you say something about Israel, it turned to anti-Semitic way too quick. And it don't even be. It's just criticism. And they're going to say, oh, because we've been persecuted. And, that, and that's true. But every criticism, every critique of the Jew, of a Jewish person ain't anti-Semitic. Every critique of a gay person or transgender person is not homophobic or, or transphobic. That's what Dave Chappelle is trying to say. And we understand that, and the community understand that. They just want to know why you keep on talking about us, and we don't keep talking about you. So you say he need to keep it moving. Yes. Well, he did say this is the and last that's time why he was said that he must he must have some feelings for us that he doesn't know how to handle. <laughs> no, he got he he loved his wife. I I think that. Um, but but he loved his wife. Probably kept on cheating on her all the time. I don't. I don't think it was all the time. I think. I think there maybe on oh, video, and they kept sending the DVD video says how. I think there's been some some documented instances where that may have happened, but uh, that's not what we talk. Oh. That's not what we talk. Oh, okay. I think. Do Do you? And a lot of a lot of a lot of straight men love their wives, but they still be giving my girls the pipe and getting the pipe. Sucked on, so no. Mm -mm. What are you saying? It doesn't matter if he loves his wife or not. He's he's curious about them girls underneath that dress. He wants well, to know what's underneath know, that dress that I, they be holding I, and how I they touch think, it. I don't, I don't think that's the case. And, and let me tell you why. He wants to untuck the tuck. If that if was the, done if it already. that was the case, then why would he be talking about it? Why he would? That because that's, that's what people do when, when they. About. That's what people do when they don't know how to contain their emotions and how to handle their emotions. They talk about it <laughs> in an insecure, frightened kind of way to make it seem like. They don't like it when they really do. Mm. 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 I work in prison. I hear about it all the time how if they don't do that, but then I hear how they doing that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, okay. So uh his and her show. David Chappelle we, 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 we are having this debate and I love when we had these kind of conversations. Um I, I definitely like having conversations on controversial topics this is a topic that is we need to talk about this kind of stuff more he's not going to be the last he's not the first he's not going to be the last person to find themselves in a controversy because 
he touched on a subject that is, you know, supposed to be uh, uh, off limits. Uh, he's not the last person that's going to get canceled. I think he's fighting it pretty good, though. He's he's fighting the 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 cancel the 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 cancel culture. I think he's fighting that pretty good. Uh, so um, let's do this. Let's take a quick break and let. What does that say, Dave Chappelle? What Dave Chappelle ain't that tail? No, hold on. Oh, what that t- <laughs> Dave, what? <laughs> Dave Chappelle want that tail? Uh, I'm sure that I'm sure that he can get you know the. The tail that he wants. He says he likes his wife. Hello. hello. Let's take a quick break and let's come back. <laughs> and we are back. You should be down with me. I said a quick when I said a quick break. I made a quick break. I didn't like this. I'm moving. Uh, oh, you thought you were gonna get up? <laughs> oh, no, these ain't games. These, uh, this is this is this is serious. Um, this is serious. Uh, so let me. I, I try to see what cool cool rod is saying. What does it say? He says Dave Chappelle can't change no laws. Okay, I, what you mean? I don't know. Um, DJ Cool Rod, what you mean by that? What do you mean that Dave Chappelle can't change no laws? Which he can't, but uh. I don't know. I don't know. I hope he lets me know what he means by that. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you leave a comment uh, while we're on air and I see it, I will read it. Okay, so T, do you know who Brittany Reiner is? Who? Brittany Reiner. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, so she is, um, she's pretty, pretty attractive. Uh, and what she is, what she has done. Let me let me see if I can uh, bring up a picture of her. So she she's made some statements, and I have a problem with the statements that she's made. Okay, and, and this this gets to what I call the double standard. Okay, so she you know this this is this is her right here. Okay. And as you can see, she's a she's a she's a nice looking girl. She's she's got uh uh video picture. She's a she's an Instagram model, okay. Um uh, and uh what what she has done is she has made it a point to date. She's been connected to a lot of different folks. Uh James Harden, Drake, Rosie Bird, uh Bill Simmons, Trey Songs. Uh, Chris Brown, oh, wow. Colin Kaepernick. So she's 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 got around, right? She's 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 had uh-huh. a a a healthy uh uh that's mileage on her. Day. Okay, yeah, she definitely she definitely has some some mileage on her. So anyway, so she's she's recently broken up with um you know with her her latest her latest victim and. Uh, <laughs> So, Who's the latest uh, victim? She was uh, PJ Washington, uh, plays for the Charlotte Hornets, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so they, okay, he was 18. She was 27 when they got together. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was still going to the University of Kentucky at that time. So the, the relationship was like eight years older than him. Yeah, relationship lasted through uh, his college run, uh, mm-hmm. and right up until him having a, you know, they had a baby, mm-hmm. and uh, the wheels kind of fell off in the relationship after they had the baby, right? So he had the baby, and she made serious accusations against him. He made serious accusations against her. The whole thing was ugly, right? So what what's happened is that she has been scoping out and and preying on younger men. Okay? How old is she now? Is she 27 now, Diamond? She ain't 27 now. No, she's not. Okay. How old is she now? Now she she okay, so 
the, the thing about it is given given her history, right? Given her track uh-huh. record, she's I mean, she, you know, a girl in the 20s. You could, you know, you could date who you want. Everybody got bodies and all that, right? I'm not coming down right. on her. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming down on her at, at all. Uh, but last weekend. She was at Jackson State for some reason. Deion Sanders invited her to come talk to his team, right? And so she posted, she posted something on social media, and and that's what I'm talking about is the double standard. Okay, so let me let me show you what she posted. Okay, now. Um, so on social media, she posted this. So she says, Hey Jackson State, hide your sons. <laughs> Jackson State, hide your sons. Okay. And, and so she posted this picture of her. So she's at the school, right? And so so that I got a problem. I got a problem with that. All right. I got a problem with that. What is our what is our Kelly in jail for right now? Right? What we talking about him praying on young girls? If some uh, let me think of some 30 something. If 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 Anthony Hamilton posts a picture as Thelman and, and say mothers hide your daughters, Anthony Hamilton gonna get canceled. The the Me Too movement is gonna come for Anthony Hamilton. I pick Anthony Hamilton, he's in his 30s, right? Okay, she's in her 30s, and, and so this is a double standard. So people been having di- now. Usually the ladies are agreeing with her. I mean, so what? And so she, and when she was challenged on this, she's saying, um, you know, that they are consenting adults and and, and they're in college, which means that they over eighteen. And you know, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. But once again, R. Kelly's in jail for what? Praying on younger girls. Okay, Aaliyah aside. You know they they in that you know, in that that gray zone, right? Um, if Anthony Hamilton did this, if you name the guy, it doesn't matter. Anybody did this? Hide your daughters. Hide your daughters. That's just I'm on the prowl. Like anybody can get it. You know what I'm saying? Is it me or am, am I crazy? It's just the caption. The caption is. I mean, it's it's a double standard. Yeah, I'm glad you admitted that. We live in a double standard world because, you know, men can have sexual intercourse with so many females and he's the man. But if a woman does it, she's a hoe. She has mileage. No, everybody everybody has mileage, but it's that... The mileage. Everybody is, don't have mileage. Everybody I don't. does have mileage. It's just no, mileage. mileage is looked at differently on women and men. Is that is that your no. no, no, men. Men have uh, bodies. Men have bodies. Yeah, but the men. How many bodies a man have? Like yo, he was a man back then. You know what I mean? Right, but if I want to be like, yeah, I got about two bodies, you be like, and what? That's true. They would say that more than likely. They would say that now, whether that's right or whether that's wrong, is something that we need to talk about. But my thing is, is that having these kind of discussions is good, and yeah, there's always. It should, and, not and, be, it should and, not be a. It should not be a double. It's standard always going to be a double standard, whether we like it or not. Right. Whether we like it or not. That's the society. Why do you think it's like that, though? Because it's just what society has built, and we just build up from what society has the foundation that they built from a long time ago. Right, so let's go back. Let's go back to way, way before we were born, way, way before our parents were born. Let's, yeah, let's, back when our grandmothers like that nah, was crazy. You couldn't do that. Let's go back even further than that. Let's go back to well, the time when, when, when it was the kings and queens, right? So the king is looking for a bride, right? And they say, oh, "This one, this virgin, that one, this one." And you're like, "No, no, 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 no! I'm going to the brothel, and I'm getting one of these. Oh, I'm sorry, one of these working girls." 
that that's been all around the kingdom, and I'm gonna make her the queen. That's a lie. No, I said, what if they did that? Right? People be looking at that right? crazy. They would say, you can't turn this brothel girl into the queen, right? Yeah, there's a certain way that you have to conduct yourself. There's a there's certain standards that you're going to be expected to be held to, and I don't think. But that- society has made it milfing is cool. Being a milf is cool, and society made it like that. Yeah, there is a certain sex appeal to a milf. That's true, and and. Right. But let's understand this. What's the male version of a MILF? A sugar daddy. Okay. Is that and a cool? sugar daddy has cool? to have, for some people, yeah, it's cool, but a MILF don't have to have money. Right, because it's still the guy is still expected to do a lot of these things. So, exactly. so y'all get everything working in y'all favor. This one little thing, this one little thing, y'all can't, y'all can't and, and, have all these bodies. Y'all like everything is all unfair. No, it's only <laughs> this is the only time. This is the only thing we got. Court system ain't set up in our favor. Child support ain't set up in our favor. Alimony ain't set up in our favor. The guy's supposed to hold the door. The guy's supposed to pay the bill. The guy's supposed to do all these things. The guy's supposed to have a car. The guy can't live with his mother. The guy got all this kind of stuff. Only thing y'all can't do is if you have a lot of bodies, they're going to look at you a certain way. And we, y'all can't give us this one thing? And plus, you say R. Kelly. Supposedly, R. Kelly had these when the, these mothers and fathers sold their kids to him, their daughters. When they sold their daughters to him, they sold them at underage. He's at a college campus. Where all the kids are supposed to be of age. But there's 18 year olds there, but they're still legally adults. Yeah, you sound, like, right. you sound like her lawyer right now. My goodness. She's right. this, this is the same, this is this is the same foolishness that she was saying. Right. So she She's uh, right. She, there's alcohol <laughs> there. She's 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 a pretty girl and she's gonna be able to get pretty much who she wants. How old is she now though, Diamond? She should be she need to stop. Oh, oh wait, so I'm oh, you on my side or you on her side? Which one is it? I'm I'm like I'm straggling fence because she does seem like she's a fucking predator. Okay. She talked about that. Listen, if she's still on the college tour when seven get in college, I think you're gonna be having I think you're gonna be feeling different about it. She's looking for her upcoming <laughs> NFL contractor. Yeah, so she's she is 29. She's 29. She's 29. She done had plenty of infamous bodies up in her. Yes. Yeah, as she should. Do, do you, right? The run, it's going to be a short run because all of these girls. But my thing is. Diamond, obviously your run is not really working for you because here you are 30, you done had all these famous bodies up in you. Nobody wife. And you still you still searching. So you need to find something else because this is not working for you. Wow. You have nothing to stand on it. Hollywood is littered with with ladies that try to uh Can't see the future. Well, she I can see the future for her if, if if she's going down this way, I mean, Superhead's been here before. There's been uh, there's been plenty of others. Like yeah. if I was a, a Insta model or 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 one of these girls that change, I'm I'm catching I'm not I'm not catching by I'm catching semen. Like I'm having a baby. Well, she cut. She did that already. She did that. <laughs> she t- <laughs> Yeah, she did that. But I don't see the child support is not paying out enough because she's constantly seeking. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I just, I just feel as though you gotta if, catch that right one. You gotta catch that right one. If uh, if a guy posted that, it would be all types of backlash. It would be all types. Oh of hell backlash. no! They'd be like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with him? He's a pedophile, pervert. You can't. No, a dude cannot post hide your daughter. <laughs> uh just tuning in here to her show. Uh we are here. It's, every- it's, it's definitely a double standard with that. You can't post hide your daughter. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Because the thing that you people think about doing is they think of little girls. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. So, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Um. Floyd Mayweather posted a video uh, the other day in support of Kyrie Irving, who is not trying to get vaccinated, and the NBA not trying to let him play uh, because of his vaccination status. Right. Uh, so, so, so there's that. So, but there also was this video. Uh, this this guy is trying to get Floyd Mayweather to take a picture with him uh, at a fight, and uh, Floyd Mayweather does not take the picture. Uh, and so he's in his feelings about this. Uh, let, let me let me let's oh, the man. Let's look at this clip uh, real quick. Let me see. Hang on here. You guys saw that first, bro. Floyd doesn't want to take a photo of me because my nails are painted. All right, so all right, so that so what happened? What happened there is that he's at the fight. He comes up to he, he tries to get him to take a picture. He was going to take the picture, but the guy's fingernails are painted. And Floyd said, "I'm not taking a picture with a guy whose fingernails is painted." And kept and he kept walking, and so the guy. <laughs> oh. I can't. What is going on? He said, "You you're not gonna have no picture of me on Instagram." <laughs> That's his choice if he don't want to take the picture. That doesn't make him, but but the thing is, is that that doesn't make him a homophobe. That just means he don't want to take the picture. Why? Why did they say I want to take the picture? Why did he have to depict something to say a reason why he ain't want to take the picture? Yeah, I mean, I, you, if I his guess fingernails so. wasn't painted, it's probably going to find something else to say why he wasn't going to take that picture. I personally think he would have been like, no, nah, no pictures, man. Or, or he probably would have kept moving. But I think he was going to take the picture. Because a lot of times, I've seen him take pictures. but th- and he was So you really think the fingernails did it for him? The fingernails did it for him. <laughs> the, finger, the fingernails did it for him. But yeah, so he was... He was highly upset. But most men I'm seeing in the younger generations that they're painting their fingernails like black or dark color doesn't mean that they're. Yeah, and that's and that's a good point, and that that is true. I have I have seen that as well, uh, and and that's why I don't I don't think that it, it happens to be that that guy was gay, but I don't think that that was the identifier. For him saying, he didn't say, oh, I don't take pictures with gay people. He just said the fingernails. He didn't want to take the picture because he imagined the memes that would have came out when that picture came out. <laughs> he, didn't want to be, he didn't want people to have that kind of ammunition. A lot of people don't like Floyd Mayweather. He didn't want to give them something for free like that. So he's like, well, you going to get me. You had to give me better than that. So quick, quick thing, Diamond. So my brother is on a European to uh, vacation by himself. So he was in Budapest, right? So he said he went to the club and all these people started flocking him. They thought he was Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was like, Floyd, we wouldn't even know that you were being hungry. And he was like, he, 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 was- he like in a Starbucks like drinking his coffee and people are like coming up to him wanting to take pictures. And then finally he found out it's because they think he's Floyd Mayweather. That is freaking hilarious. You oh. know my brother, he kind of built, he got this bald head, he got his little jewelry on because he's out of the country enjoying himself. Yes. And he's like, he's the only black man that be around. 
<laughs> That's funny. Um, so is that? Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Yeah, there's one. There's, there's, one more, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that is this. You know, homicide that happened on this movie set, and with Alec, Alec, Alec Baldwin has a has a gun. They're practicing. They're setting up. They're blocking the shot, and he ends up getting you know getting the weapon. The the um, uh, AD gave him the weapon. The, the assistant director gave him the weapon. They said this is a cold weapon, uh, and it turned out to not be a cold weapon. It turned out to be a hot weapon. A uh, cold weapon meaning uh, when they use that that phrase, it means that this weapon has blanks in it. Uh, but it turns out that there was a live round in in the gun. He fires the gun. It goes through the the camera person and uh, and hits someone else. Uh, crazy. Just just it, such. As soon as I heard of it, I thought about the crow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and and that was so. A lot of people don't understand why they use actual weapons on the movie set, and the reason is the authenticity. When you use a, a the plastic gun, it doesn't have the same. So you can CGI it, and you can do that too. But if you're doing one of those things where you need to cock the gun, and you know, what I mean, they use actual guns, and they just change what they put in the gun but they do target practice and use this gun use an actual gun and this had an actual bullet in there so i guess my question is do you think that we just need to have it so they don't use actual guns on on set i i didn't even know diamond i knew that they used actual guns but i thought they used blanks yeah. i didn't know there was live ammo on the set yeah, it should not be. Uh, I think that that should just be the thing, you know. Yes, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, we're doing a make believe. And the movie. thing that what happened to Brandon Lee? Yeah, that that's everybody crazy. be like, no, we ain't, we not gonna have that's that crazy. ever happen yeah. again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but here we are uh, again, and somebody's dead and. I think that there's going to be there going to be some changes after this one though. They they definitely. I just happen. feel sorry for the person who made this fucking mistake because they're going to find out who did that. Well, my, my thing is that who made the mistake because there was a, there was so many mistakes made. So yes, there was an armor the person who who's supposed to check the weapons. She had only this was only her second movie that she worked on doing this job. She should have never even got the job doing this, right? So she gives it to the next person, and that person gives it to Alec Baldwin. Okay, I've been on movie sets before. If you are given a gun, even if they say the gun is cold, you're still supposed to open it up and look at it. Had he opened up the barrel and looked at the gun, he would have seen that there was a bullet in there. This was... This is like a Western kind of movie, right? So you got to have gun. This is one of those six shooter revolver type, of, you know, the old old school gun. It's not one of those, you know, current weapons. This is an old old kind of Western type of movie. He should have looked at it, right? There's a lot of fault to go around, but some people are gonna say he he took the, the decision, you know, took took their word for it. But you can't take somebody's. Mm -hmm. You can't. You gotta because he did pull the trigger, right? They're gonna be going to be no, he ain't going to jail, but I'm just saying this is gonna be some kind of civil thing, I think. Uh, because it, this, so we'll this yeah, is they unintentional. See them. It's unintentional. Yeah, don't nobody gonna nobody want to see this movie. All right, ain't nobody gonna want to see this movie. Well, uh, I thought Alec Baldwin was retired. Well, he's gonna retire his ass though. He's one of the producers of the movie, too. So I mean, he's got fault any way any way you look at it. That shit is crazy. That shit is fucked up. Yeah. But again, I was just when I heard, I'm like, why is there live ammo on a video, a movie? Like I was like, yeah, crazy. Yeah, it 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 is it, really sad, and uh, this lady lost her life. 
going to work as a camera person. Yeah, I just it, yeah, it, it's definitely a sad situation. Yeah, I mean, why? Why did you have to put that part in there? What? What? See, that's why people think that we insensitive. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> because I said, I said, this woman lost her life going to work. <laughs> You're going to say, as a camera person. <laughs> right. It's just like, it's not like, that shouldn't be a dangerous job. You know what I'm saying? Like, Okay, somebody working on a on a on a scaffold on a construction site building a um a skyscraper, that's a dangerous job, right? But a camera person, this ain't supposed to be a dangerous job. You know what I mean? They don't even sweat. Right. Well, it'd be hot though, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just Damn. yeah, I, I definitely you I know definitely he can't sleep that. at night. He gonna yeah. be on Xanax. Yeah, yeah. So um uh definitely thank you uh this was a very spirited discussion i enjoyed this a lot we'll be back next week uh next tuesday Let me shout out my girl um her business because she's always promoting our show oh, yeah, her name is dominique out. her name is dominique hey dominique her instagram is hair by ula unique and she has another business where she sells hair Sex toys. It's called um, All Things Beauty and Business on Instagram. Just put at All Things Beauty and Business and go support this Black Queen. Okay. All right. All Things Beauty and Business. All right. Follow right now. All right. So we'll be back next week. Uh, you and shout out your social media, or you or you you chilling? Um, Jamaican. I don't know. Jam Jam Jamaican. Jamaican Goldilocks on Instagram. It is. Um, something on um, Facebook. Right. Okay. Good enough. If you really, you, you can find me if you really want to look for me. Yeah. Well, there, there it is. Uh, and of course, they can find you right here next week. You miss any episodes? Uh, just go to radioonfire.com and click the his or her show, and then you can you can see that. Um, and dude, stay out my DM. Why you want them to do dudes be in your DMs that bad? Huh? They trying to is a tattoo artist. They just they just trying to get some do a tattoo for you. God, he's thirsty. What they be saying? Just all kinds of just dumb shit. <laughs> well. That is that's how it is sometimes. Huh? I said that's how it is sometimes. God. That's how it be. Sometimes it's just annoying. It is. We just block them. I do, but still, it's like the things that they say, it's like. You thought that that was going to get you. To the next. Oh, when you post, you can post that you were holding a man's hand, and they still be in your videos like, "What's up?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's definitely not. You are so busy. Just because. Do you know that I'm crazy though? That's that's my thing. They don't know that. They don't. They don't know that. Exactly. Yeah. I see that you're not with your husband no more, you know. Yeah. If you need somebody to talk to, you know. <laughs> then you can then you can do that. Um yeah, so stay out your inbox unless they got something positive to say. All right, same time. You're gonna be late on next Tuesday. I have been late before, and, and, and I can't say... Your whole life that we've been recording. Me. We've been recording for 11 years, and you've been late every time. Every time? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'm going to do better. I, I, I'm, I'm going to try next week be on time. All, All right. right, good night, everybody. Good night, Facebook. Good night, Instagram. Good night, all the people on the live stream. 
Good night, Baltimore. I love everybody. Okay. See you next week. Good night, Diamond.